hello everyone and welcome to a new video yes another binder collection video and this time it's the supporter full art cards or super rare cards what you like to call it and um, yes i've been collecting these for a while I'm not the completionist absolutely not uh, if you want a more complete binder <laughs> of the both japanese and english i highly recommend you going to poketash it's my friend's uh, youtube channel so poketash he has an awesome collection of full art supporters but this is my personal collection and um yeah let's just start with these yeah these are more recent stuff uh, this one is a uh, simplified chinese so i put recently in the lily box uh for mainland china i've opened which is quite cool again japanese texture did not have it in japanese before uh what's this called titan liza yes <laughs> so that's very cool um yeah this one is also quite recent put this myself the, the adaman with the the team diamond clan and um yeah nothing too crazy here candace no some um i really like this one really really like this card uh, it's from dream league i had to get this in, in order to complete my dream league full collection yes this is my only set I have completed 100% Dream League and I'm very happy with that. One of my favorite sets ever. And uh, yeah, Rosa is just an amazing character. Uh, I really like it. It's also quite a nice card. I don't know if you can see it through all the triple sleeving here. Let me show off. Some nice bubble texture. I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, you can see it now vaguely, yes. Nice card. Speaking of nice cards, we have um, N. And this one is also quite underrated. It's also from Dream League. This one has like hieroglyphs or something like that. And when you look at them at in the, in the perfect lighting, they will light up, which is super cool. You can see the texture here. It supports the hieroglyphs. A yeah, super nice card, honestly. And it doesn't cost really much, honestly. Quite a nice card. This one is more recent. This is a lady. I think I've showed it uh, off recently with the text shift error. Uh, watch that video for full close up, which is really cool. This card is very cheap. If you want, uh, if you want it now, get it now. I think it won't uh, get any lower than this. Absolutely recommend getting it. Next page, yes. Again, this this page, this this whole binder is a full mess. It's not sorted out. <laughs> when I've got them, uh, when I see those cards, I just put uh, put them right in the in that binder, and just close the binder off. Um. These three, yeah, n not too crazy, honestly. They were very cheap. I think I've pulled this one from the Rebel Clash uh, pre-release kits at the time. Same with this one. I pulled this from a pack. I think this one or another one, I've pulled this from the actual Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box on Pokemon Day. If you look very uh, thoroughly, you'll see a video on my Twitter account uh, when I was very happy. Can I pulled Skyla on Pokemon Day, which is <laughs> quite cool. And uh, this Cafe Master. I think I pulled this from VMAX Climbing. Nothing too crazy. Dancer, you know, Pokemon League trade. And this one is also traded. But this one has a, uh, not necessarily this card, but the whole Steam Siege thing. Let me... There, there they are. The Pokemon Ranger story, yes. 2016. I think I've pulled two booster boxes worth of packs. I did not get Sycamore, which is the card to get back then. It was highly playable. And I generally like this artwork as well. But I got Double Ranger. Double Pokemon Ranger, which is super disappointing. And they are still there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, now I have one. That was the whole story. I think in Japan it was a uh, booster box promo. I'm not sure, but... It was stamped, so I highly uh, think of that uh, uh, card as, as a booster box promo. 
these are um yeah some of the the supporter uh, cards some of them are hit or miss you know this one is another japanese version which i regret not picking up for like 150 euros uh 2019 2020 but at the time i did not think shauna from the best effects why the japanese version would be that insanely priced uh at the time it was quite high as well for what it was and um, yeah i got this one a couple of years ago for like 20 euros something like that it was super much available back then for like three five euros <laughs> that uh what was it called again where this came from i think uh, xyp member collection or something like that yeah you know the story with glory as well uh, i got this for super cheap by the way in car market it was very still is rising now no, it's not necessarily rising but still quite expensive in japan and uh, that said you know was people didn't know of gloria being an expensive card so i picked it up for very cheap <laughs> and the english version by the way is just bulk prices by the way and it leaves sparkle i think it's um some people don't like it uh, i personally like it uh for a in my opinion, Elisa, it's not not very expensive. The Elisa Spark from um, Vista Universe is way more expensive. I think people like that outfit more. But I think it's a nice card. I pulled this myself from Fusion Arts last summer. Uh, no, not summer, 2021 summer. I really like that card. I have the English version here as well. Uh, what is this called again? I think Pokemon Adventurer or something like that, or Discoverer. And this is actually a, in, uh, a Pokemon TCG original character. This did not appear in any video game, to my knowledge. Which is very cool, in my opinion. I think um, Taira Ak Akitsu also illustrated this character, generally. I think it's a nice card. We really like this character as well. And this one is um yeah one of one of my favorites not necessarily because of i think it's a very pretty pretty card as, as well really like this artist by the way it's uh and morikura very nice card and um this is one of the strangest best luck boxes ever i think it was called the Calyrex set was called again shadow rider Calyrex set Jet Black Poltergeist, yes. I pulled this card in, I think, first pack or second pack. Then a couple packs later, I pulled the actual uh, VMAX Hyper Rare Special Art of the Shadow Rally Carrax VMAX. And I just was laughing hysterically. Absolutely crazy. Uh, I think I was finished within uh, the four, five, five, six packs with the whole set. This was my chase card and the other one as well. Beautiful cards. Uh, this I think is this called Be beauty or, or something like that. I, I have no idea um, Cool promo Not my not my ever favorite card, but it was very cheap and I, I think it might Rise up in the future, you know with the whole craziness of supporter cards, you know, it's just going absolutely mental <laughs> Yes more cards. Uh, where do I start? Yes, Aratsu, again, um, I don't know why it's so cheap. I have no idea. I, I've stated this in the Dark Phantasma video, uh, the last video, by the way. If you haven't watched that, please watch it. I think this card is dirt cheap for what it is. I think it's a nice character, Aratsu. It, it was f quite popular uh, last year with, with Legends. <laughs> and um, it's still dirt cheap. I, I, I think 5,000 yen or something like that. You can still get it. I paid like 15 euros for this card, shipped on card market, something like that. And it's just that that insane. Yeah, um, nice card. Pick it up if you haven't and like this character. Got Dinis Vigor, again, like I said, I like the, uh, the, uh, this artist. I think uh, this artist really draws uh, su uh, supporter cards very beautifully. Uh, and Morikura, again. I should get the Japanese version someday. Because I think this one is a very nice card. 
I like this Gardenia over all the other ones uh, released in the past and and the and the future present. Uh, this is Professor Roxanne, or was it? I have no idea. I have no idea. Nice card. Doesn't cost a lot. Clara, yes. I think this card will be uh, very expensive in the future. Who knows? Uh, this set, S5A, Matches Fighters, was it? I, I don't know. I think it was it was Matches Fighters. Yeah, it's not, not available anymore. Not everywhere. It's gone from the market. If you want this card right now, yeah, I think it, it has liz risen somewhat. And I picked it up for a very nice price on on, uh, on the secondary market outside of Japan. I think it's a beautiful card, by the way. And uh, who knows what the Clara Premium Tournament Collection will do. We don't have another one uh, with new artwork. Who knows what the future will hold. Yes, this one is, uh, I think, quite unique. Russian language Giovanni scheme. Yeah, really like this card. It's from, I think, Breakthrough or Breakpoint. I think Breakthrough. The Mew, uh, Mega Mew set. Mewtwo. Yeah. I think it's just a... It's, it's not necessarily a stereotype, but I think, you know, this, this the whole Russian language with the bad guys, I think really gives it something else. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. I think it looks so nice. And this one is also quite nice. I pulled this on my birthday, which was uh, I think 2019 with Lost, or 2018, I think it is, with uh, Lost Thunder, and uh, yeah, really liked Scott. I own it ever since. No discussion. Yeah, I pulled this one. I think on my first box as well. Uh, EV Heroes. <coughs> I don't like you, Cordy. I I I, I hate you. I did uh, pull also this one for my EV Heroes booster box, which is a little bit better aroma ready, but yeah. Teammates from uh, I think it was Primal Clash. Yeah, I think it, the Japanese version is very expensive today. So I think this is called in Japanese Kowai and Senpai or something like that. Not not surely sure about that, but. Think I remember it being called like that, Kohai and Senpai. <laughs> yeah, I really like this card, not necessarily because it's it's very colorful, really really colorful, and um, I I maybe should get a Japanese one. But uh, yes, I think I I really like Team Skull, slight texture shift. Not you can see it here, but uh, yeah, I really like this this Sun and Moon uh, style here. Very cool. By Sanosuke Sakuma. Same with Gladion. Yes, Tokia. Yeah, Tokia doesn't do any Pokemon anymore. Tokia, he has stopped. So that's quite crazy to see. We'll never, uh, from what I see, you you never know what the future holds, but we'll never do Pokemon anymore, which is quite a shame. Honestly. These two, these uh, two I've actually played uh, in a deck uh, for, for, for quite a long time in my um, Sylveon GX deck. And uh, it was a uh, Disrupted deck. So, uh, you know, this one, you can di <laughs> discard two cards from the top of a poison deck. And this one, yeah, it's got an active energy, which were quite good for what they were. Uh, I think if Team Rock is anywhere comes back, it will make uh, it will be very good card. <laughs> yeah, here we have uh, more, yeah, quite uh, more wanted stuff. I can imagine this is Skyla. Um, I'm not sure what uh, Black and White Seven in Japanese was called again, but this one was released uh, in English under Boundaries Crossed. Yes. And uh, yeah, I've picked this one up for, I think, like I said, in the, if you haven't watched the OK Jailer video, 
um, how you watch it, you know, what happened to support a cause. I think it was called like that. And I tell you the whole story about, you know, how much I paid for this card. And it was not much, I, that much I can tell you. Yeah, and now this card is several hundreds of uh, dollars. I, I don't know what's, how much it is today. I don't want to look. But other than that, I think it's a very nice card. I think I prefer this over all the Skylas. And why I really like uh, Kanako Eo's uh, art style. Hope um, comes back doing more art. Yes, Ace Rola. Yes, I don't have Japanese version, which is... Um, yeah, I really hate it. <laughs> yeah, not necessarily. Uh, bec I really hate. I don't have the Japanese version, and the Japanese version always was expensive. The 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 whole box in Japanese, I think this was called um, SM two plus or whatever. It was released in a subset, and this w you know the, those sets were not great, honestly. So it sort of was literally behind. Uh, crappy cards honestly and now uh, Israela is uh, I think in the thousands, thousands of dollars expensive card yeah Licia yes the story of Licia yeah, I pulled this on uh, Celestial Storm I think release day and uh, I do not have the Japanese I could have gotten it for very cheap the Japanese but I did I didn't want it I kind of regret not picking it up at uh, those uh, dirt cheap bottom prices, but you can't win them all, honestly. And uh, I think it's the whole uh, thing of collecting cards. I already had the English version, I was happy with it. I did not need the Japanese version at the time. I, w I didn't want it, um, you know, enough for my uh, collection. Here's the um, break point, Skyla. This one has a little bit, um, how do I say it? Interesting pose, I suppose. <laughs> um, I don't think Pokemon Company will do this uh, pose again. That I am fairly certain of. I'm not sure what uh, what they'll do in the future, but all right. Yes, and this is, uh, I, I, will I want to call this Shiny Cynthia. Because uh, it's uh, called um, from this SV set from Hidden Face. I think Shiny Vault. And this one also features the Shiny Lucario and Guard Jump. It's a Shiny Guard Jump. The ever slightly so, I think, darker or lighter tone, you won't notice it. But uh, I think it's a very cool card. The nice cracks here. Hope you can see it. I think I paid quite for for the time, uh, somewhat m a little bit money uh, for it, but I, th it was my chase card from from Hidden Face at the time. Honestly, there was no Lugia V shiny because it was released in the same uh, set in you know, SM8. SM8 was um, you know uh, Lost Thunder, uh, the Japanese version, and um, yeah, it never got released in uh, Japanese shiny Lugia V uh, V GX and I also like this one this is I think yes mean uh, yes I think yes mean this one has a nice um, texturing you can see the gears being nicely textured a nice card I thought I, I thought I paid a lot of money for this card at the time. I think thirty dollars. Well, I think it's still not expensive today. But if I only knew in twenty eighteen how much um, full art supporters would uh, rise today, <laughs> that would be crazy. Here's a duplicate Licia uh, Melolina, which is also nice. I think I should have picked it up. I, it was not too ch uh, too expensive, or uh, not not until recently. But I think any Japanese uh, th supporter, uh, which look a little bit cute, are just going uh, insane, honestly. Played this one as well, this is Delinquent. I really like this uh, card with uh, the Mighty Yenna. I think, was it Mighty Yenna? 
it is mighty and uh, and i played also my sylveon gx disruptive card a really disgusting card i hope it never comes back <laughs> it's a very annoying card honestly This one's also quite cool. This is a hall with uh, Raichu. I think this was the first Sun and Moon box uh, purchase br bonus. And um, yeah, I, I, I really think they should feature more Pokemon or supporter cards. I, I really, I really do. This looks so much fun. Really happy I got it on release. Has some nice memories to it. Sabrina, also quite cool card. This is the I think the Let's Go variant. I I think this card is really underrated, honestly. It's a nice texturing. I like Sabrina in general, you know, as a, a trainer. Quite cool card, honestly. It's from. Uh, Tech Bolt in Japan. This is my filled language collection. Not necessarily filled. I got the most uh, difficult cards to get. And I only need to finish the Spanish and Eng um, Italian, French, and what more, you know, all the European uh, language versions. I got uh, the Brazilian, Portuguese, Korean, uh, English, obviously, and the Japanese. And what is very interesting is with the, the English version, it, it, it got totally different texturing. And I think at this point they will not, they have not had figured out the texturing with Japan and English. As you can see it got some swir swir um, swirl circle texturing here. And here it got totally different texturing as you can see here. I think it uh, really looks weird, but yeah, Mars. I really like Mars. Reminds me also of Aratsu. They were quite cool cards. Here's another Russian Giovanni. It was so nice, I got two. <laughs> yes, Iris. Yes, this card uh, I don't see much uh, around, honestly. Don't remember which set this for, was from from black and white. Plasma storm, plasma freeze. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, quite a cool card. Very very colorful. And this uh, is the the contrast of colorful, very dark uh, hex maniac. I I think uh, that's quite an audience for hex maniac. By the way. I did not know uh, and until five years ago, but <laughs> yeah, quite a cool card, honestly. Again, like I said, picked this up for bulk prices when it released. And this was a very playable card as well, Hex Maniac. Yeah, I think we are halfway. I think we got some more, yeah. Um, Plumeria. I think I played this card as well. Yeah, same with the Skull Grunt. I really like the Team Skull cards. Very, very colorful. I should get the Guzma someday. I think I've owned Guzma at some point. But I traded it away. It was too playable at the time. And um, it's also uh, nice. And gets this. The Team Plasma. And I really like this this style by Kanako Eo. I think it's just so nice, honestly. It's like so, sort of what Kensugumori is for Pokemon, um, uh, you know, illustrations. I think Kanako Eo just does the support card so nicely. And that's a shame uh, she has stopped. Coming back to Russian cards. <laughs> It looks just so badass, honestly, with the Russian language. I I'm very sorry to say this. If you feel offended as a Russian uh, person, I'm very sorry, but it just so looks so badass. 
and it looks again this uh, it looks so nice the russian language and actually this was not po the russian language cards were not popular so um, that's very interesting they, they prefer the english version i think it was better translated in english than that in their actual language so uh, that's that this lucy mean of all the ones in japanese but it was too expensive for me at the time when it released and um yeah now it's uh, again like i said you know in super high prices i don't want to look and uh, the Janine, i also really like this card it's a very nice texture here hope you can see it yeah it looks so nice it almost it, it moves uh, with you when you look at the right direction and here's one of my very favorites from the Sun and Moon sets and this is why I hate English texturing so much same with the Mars you know I, I did not know what we were up to here we have Mina full art this is the English version if you do not know any better it's just an average card and then you see a Japanese it has these nice brush strokes texturing hope the camera will pick it up but it's a totally different card and this is why the Japanese texturing is superior I think you can hear, see it here better yes and it's such a nice card it's such a nice card there you go that's uh, Mina <laughs> yeah I think that this is uh, I, I wouldn't say a disgrace but it's just you know, it doesn't do it justice the English version honestly and um, this is a Japanese exclusive I think it's Luke, Lieutenant Yoshida yes I think it's called Yoshida but um, yeah quite a cool card did not break the bank at the time Here's my uh, money page. <laughs> uh, I've showed this before uh, already. Uh, but yeah, this is my money page. I think it doesn't need much explanation. But I'm very happy I have completed it. And uh, hey, okay, J Love, if you're looking, you know, you can get it as well. But um, sadly, you will have to pay for it. But uh, who knows what the future might hold, Julian? Who knows? Yeah, so more um, supporter cards, of course. And uh, yeah, I think I really like Nessa. Just a nice character. Same with uh, Olivia. This card, for some reason, is very expensive. I don't know. Zinnia, this is uh, one of my favorite characters from... Uh, you know, I really like the, the, the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire games. And uh, yeah, it's just a very beautiful card, honestly, with the whole shadow. Uh, cracked uh, eyes or something like that in, in the background Xenia is in general a very popular character with Pokemon the latest Xenia's Resolve doesn't hit as hard as this card um, I just dare this <laughs> but uh, yeah nice cards honestly yeah, double Skylar cool here's yeah, some more awesome cards greens or blues exploration um i want to call it uh, blue <laughs> but uh, yeah this one is all one artwork which connects and it's from uh, tokia like i said tokia has quit pokemon publicly it's a shame it is really a shame such a nice art only uh, weird th uh, thing is a little bit uh, weird legs with uh, uh, blue, but yeah, overall very nice cards. This uh, done, uh, line was done by Noki Saito. Um, I really like this uh, stuff. Pulled this one on my birthday, by the way, Professor Oak. I forgot to uh, show off my Lily collection. Uh, yes, I've collected the uh, Lily for uh, cards for quite a while 
do not have Japanese versions, sadly. And uh, they were always expensive. But uh, yeah, base set here, full page. This is the Chinese, simplified Chinese, English and uh, Korean. Which are beautiful cards. This is from the Lily uh, Cosmo box. This is a full page of the Lily's Force. Full Force. It's a very nice. And um, this is a uh, staff promo. Which is quite cool in my opinion. Don't see that every day. Really, really like it. Some uh, some sleeves. And uh, here's my Dream League collection. Which I don't show off today. Maybe for another time. And I think we have neared the end. Yes, we do. So there's also, uh, like I said, Tokia. <laughs> I, I really miss Tokia. Just look at his artwork. Giovanna, Giovanna looks such a, a badass. Beautiful card. But uh, yes, that was it. I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed this um, personal collection of mine with uh, supporter cards. And I hope you, uh, you've liked stories. And uh, if you do, of course, like always, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, have a nice day. And what are your favorite supporter cards? Let me know in the comments down below. Goodbye.